first guest, of course, the Golden Globe award-winning star of the TNT series The Closer, which returns for its third season Monday night at 9. Please welcome Kira Sedgwick. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being here. You look good too. Well, I know. <laughs> I like that tie. What's that? You like this tie? I like your tie. Well, you can eat it after the show. I know it does. It's, it's made of starbursts it's that have been glued <laughs> together. Yeah. <laughs> But thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Congratulations. You. I haven't seen you since you won the Golden Globe uh, for your role in The Closer. That's, yeah. been, that's very exciting. It was. It was fantastic. And last year, you hosted the Emmys, and you were so funny. Oh, please. You that's were true. hysterical. That's madness. No, and let me tell you, you were, you were so funny. Can I just say something? The pause before the audience <laughs> applauded was awkwardly long. <laughs> she was like, you were so funny. And the crowd's like, well, yeah. I don't know. They were waiting for I've the seen better. Were, you were so funny, and Please. I was in the most uncomfortable dress, and I was in the front row, and the only thing that kept me going was you. Because well, I very lost, much. too. Right. But, but, but the Golden it, Globe, that's but fantastic. You were amazing, yeah, the Golden Globe. Was you know, amazing. I'm curious about something. Your career is, of course, going very well, but this must be a little difficult. Your, your husband, Mr. Kevin Bacon, lives in New York right. with the kids. Right. This is a, so you've got to keep uh, this relationship going long distance. That's right. got to be difficult. Yeah, it's hard, you know, but there's the phone, and there's iChat. I chat. Yeah. Is I chat, you find that better than the phone? Yeah. Because, you know, you can see each other and let's just say I'm really grateful for Stephen Jobs. Right, right. He's kept my marriage together. Right. Does really? it, ever, it gets kinky over iChat? You is know, that what you're suggesting? Maybe, sometimes. You know, I don't think that's what, I think when they came up with a computer, they weren't, that wasn't their first thought. But it maybe was it their, was their it first thought. It was their thought. second right, thought, right. let me tell you. Because, right. I mean, iChat, I mean, really, what are people going to use that but for? But how hot and heavy can it get on iChat? You know, I don't think it, I mean, I've experienced that a little bit, and it doesn't look like you can really be like, no, <laughs> you know, it doesn't look that exciting to me. You have to use your imagination. No, it's good, though. It's gotten better and better. Okay. Maybe you don't have the right camera. <laughs> <laughs> you just solved all my problems. Um, you, uh, you've been married now how many? 18 years? We're going on 19. 19 in September. Wow. When, you, when you... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Awesome Look at that. Immediate applause for that concept. Um, you, uh, was it love at first sight when you and Kevin met? What, was, you know, what, what, what were the circumstances of your meeting? We met doing um, a film called uh, Lemon Sky, mm -hmm. which was, do you remember ABC, Mer uh, I mean, PBS? The network, ABC? No, 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 sorry. I remember them I'm back wrong, in the I'm day. Wrong. PBS. Pity what happened to ABC. <laughs> uh, PBS. PBS, American Playhouse. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They did these small films, mm -hmm. and they did a film called Lemon Sky, and mm -hmm. we met, and the first time I met him, um, actually, I was 12, and he was much older. I, he was in a play, but that was a long time ago. But we met doing this movie. Oh, good, my God, I thought you were... <laughs> That almost took a horrible turn. <laughs> yeah, we fell in love when I was 12 and got married in the Ozarks. Um... <laughs> No, but when we met, it was instant lust on his part. He says it was instant lust. And for me, it was instant, not so interesting. How old were you actually. really when this happened? No, I was, I was 22. Okay, yeah. good, good. Yeah. Uh, and, and you met, and he, so what did he do to pursue you? I like to hear those stories, because right. I well, want to know you know, how to... it's actually a great, it's a, <laughs> because what? No, I nothing, I, I'll leave that a go. <laughs> No. No, I'm just curious how yes, he, yes. was he suave and cool well, about yeah, it? No, what happened was he kept inviting the whole cast out to dinner and I kept saying no because I didn't what did wasn't interested and I just wanted to go work in my in my uh, hotel room. Mm -hmm. And so one day he said to me, you know, have you ever had a massage? And I said, no, I've never had one. I say that no. sometimes. <laughs> in college, when I saw a girl on the bus I liked, I tried that line. Want a little massage? <laughs> Mace is very painful, I found. <laughs> It burns the eyes, the nostrils. When he was saying massage, was anyway, he offering no, the massage? No, no, no. What he was saying was that at his hotel, there was a good masseuse there. And the, the, the masseuse place, the place to get the massage was in the gym. And so I, I made an appointment, but I didn't tell him what time my appointment was. But right. he said to me, if, if I'm working out and I happen to be finished with my workout after you're done with your massage, maybe we can, like, go get some dinner. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. That's not happening. Right. Um, Kind of like that, just yeah. like that. And, Guys love it when yeah. women do that to them. Yeah, I wonder, no, maybe but, that's gonna happen to me. I'm not good. <laughs> but when I got out of the massage place, he was like, whew, huh? That was a tough workout. I wanna go out to dinner? He was wearing a white tuxedo. Right. <laughs> I was and, lifting this rose over my head. Maybe you would like it. And later on, he 
he told me that he had planned the whole thing. I thought you were going to say that you showed up for the massage and, you, and then he was like the masseuse with a bad mustache. <laughs> I am Antonio <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> You have um, how many? You have you have uh, you had children very young, yeah. so you have teenagers yeah, now. Yeah, I do. You I seem do. very young to have teenagers. I agree. I feel very young to yeah. have teenagers. Um, is my it son weird? is seventeen. He's actually going to be eighteen next week, right. and my daughter is fifteen. And you know, I feel like I should be hip and hap with everything that's going on. I mean, I remember being a teenager just like yesterday. Right. And but there's a couple things I don't get. Like I don't get the texting thing. Yeah, they text everything now. Everything. Do you, do you text have, to people? Are you good I at texting? I try to text and I try to be in with the lingo like LOL. Like I always assumed LOL was lots of love. So like I'll text them and say, I'm so proud of you, LOL. <laughs> Like that. It sort of goes with your, you know, talking to Kevin. You're like, oh, yeah, I'd love to go to dinner. And then your child, I just got a message from my mom. I love you so much. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> wow. But I try, you know. But the other thing I don't get is grinding. Do you know this? You know grinding? Grinding. What do you mean grinding? It's a dance. But it's it's really oh. strange and different from when I was a kid. I mean, the grinding, what they do now is they, they grind, which is that the guy stands up and the girl turns around. They're not facing each other at all. The girl turns around and grinds her butt <laughs> into the guy's front. And to me, it's really confusing because I'm like, they don't really know each other. They're not even looking at each other, and yet they're doing this sort of... What, Very close. What, whatever are they simulating? I don't know. <laughs> but you know, you know what? I don't know why she would be there and he would be there. <laughs> well, I know. I, but here's I the mean, thing: is what does that have to do with dancing? In my day, we did the Charleston. You know, we <laughs> we did that. In my day, you know, there was this kind of thing. You know what I mean? But in my day, we did the eighth grade two step. What's the eighth grade two step? Can I show you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's the eighth grade two step? <laughs> Give me a little what? Like stairway to heaven or something. Yeah, that's good. Something, yeah, something eighth grady. And then if it got true, and then <laughs> that's how I do. That's what I did. That's what I did. Oh, oh more? There's more. There's more, oh. But then if we got really close, it was like this. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> I want Megan to come out and put acne on me so that we can <laughs> really simulate. Really and that? my pants would be about here. That's pretty much what it would be like if we're going to be accurate about this. My pants would be here. My belt would be here. And we'd, I'd be going like this with you. You know, it would be really bad. And then I'd turn around for the grinding. And then that's what would happen. Good Lord. But don't you remember the eighth grade job? Do you guys remember the eighth grade two? Do you guys step? remember? Don't ask them about the eighth grade two. These Do guys, you guys grew up remember fast. Remember the eighth grade yes, two? Yes, I think we all did that. But yeah. kids grow up so fast it's, these days. Yes, it's but terrible. Grinding is confusing. Don't you think it's confusing? It, it's not confusing. I understand what's happening. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it does feel like yeah, that's not a that's not an appropriate dance. I wouldn't allow that. I there have two little. I have two little children now. Two? No, they're gonna learn the oh, the Charleston. Wow. They're gonna. I'm gonna teach them. <laughs> I'm gonna teach them dances from the 1880s. <laughs> My daughter's gonna wear a hoop skirt. They're gonna churn butter. And a chastity belt. Yeah, exactly. The whole night. The boy's gonna wear a chastity belt. I'm telling you. I got some ideas here. Um, we are. Uh, you know, the, I, I really am happy for your success, though. Thank it's uh, the closer, and you like. You really like playing this character. I do. I love it. Yeah, and it's. I love and it. do you love doing the, the southern accent? You I get do. to. There's so many great little. They write such great dialogue for you, mm -hmm. and great little southern southernisms. Mm -hmm. I guess mm -hmm. would be fair to say in the closer. Right. Bless your heart. Yeah. Bless your heart. Like when you really hate somebody. Right. He's such a. You know. Whatever. That's bless, what we, her, bless his heart. Bless yeah. his heart. Bless yeah, his the, heart. And right. sweating like a whore in church. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get to use that one too much in life. You should. Though. I was sweating like a whore in church. <laughs> I mean, a real dirty whore. <laughs> You can find a place for that. I'll find, yeah. I'm going to work that into one of my next interviews. But, you know, I, I, I guess I've always liked to do accents. And when I first moved out to Los Angeles, I used to use a bad, probably, Polish accent, thinking that if I had, if I spoke with a Polish accent, that people wouldn't take advantage of me when I bought things from them. I don't understand that at all. 
so that people don't take advantage right. of you used to affect a Polish accent. Right. I figured, you know, if I wasn't just another blonde, you know, buying a new TV. Right. I was, you know, Inga from, you know, Poland. Right. Because no one takes advantage no. of newly arrived immigrants. <laughs> There's a, a logical flaw there. I don't know what I was thinking, but, yeah. you know, I thought it was working, but maybe it didn't. Right, right. Because I did get sort of screwed on every right. single thing I bought. And <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I'm newly arrived. I don't understand your system in America. And they take advantage of me. Uh, well, the commercial-free season premiere of The Closer airs Monday night at 9 right. on TNT. Right. So congratulations uh, on all your uh, success. And, and thanks for coming Thank by. You. Come Thank by you. again. Oh, it's really good. fun talking to Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Cedric, everybody. John Cena coming up to take a break. We'll be right back.